This is Ellen Finkelstein and I wanted to show you a technique that you can use to get a photoshopped look by fading in one side of an image. As you can see with this image here, it interferes with the text and the smart art diagram. So I would like to fade in the left side and it'll look much better. The first thing I do is insert the image of course, which I've already done, and it'll go to the front of the slide and you want to make sure it's at the back. So you would right click and choose send to back, send to back, and then it would be behind the text and anything else that you have on the slide. The next thing you do is insert a rectangle. So here on the home tab I can choose rectangle and I'm going to cover about half of the image from top to bottom. Now this rectangle needs to go behind the text and the smart art diagram but in front of the image. So I'm going to choose send to back, send backward and do that a second time so that it's in between this image over here and everything else on the slide. I'm going to right click and choose format shape and the first thing I want to do is get rid of the outline. I'll choose line color, no line and then I'll choose fill and choose gradient fill. Now the direction is not right, it's going from top to bottom and I want it to go from left to right. So I'm going to change this degree to zero. I'm going to add a stop by clicking here. In 2007 you would click an add button over here. And I'm going to start from the left, change the color to white which matches the background of the slide. And I'm going to leave the position at zero and the transparency at zero. For the second stop I'm going to choose white and then set its position to around 60 and set the transparency to 25 percent. The third will also be white its position will be 80% and its transparency will be about 65%. And finally, the last stop will also be white. Its position will remain at 100% and its transparency will be 100%. And if I want, I can make some minor adjustments here to make this more gradual. And when I click Close and deselect the rectangle, you can see that the text is now completely clear, the smart art diagram is completely clear, and yet the image still stands out. The transparency gradient gradually fades in the image.